One, two, three. I see three, plus what's on the ground. That's a whole, entire trees on the ground. And yeah, we'll make these into little pieces. Doing a field repair. I got rotten fuel line on this little O2O. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I breathe in sawdust. <coughs> starting to move going that way one of the tough things about these dead stands is that part of the base gets rotten right because it continues to absorb moisture up from the ground so then you don't know where the strength of the trunk is so you may yeah and we're not using wedges because we don't care we don't really care enough to I'm not quite sure what he's doing now but It's moving, but it's moving that way. Which way is that? Just drop it. You let it go where it wants to go. We're out of the way. See, it's leaning now more. It's going. Maybe it'll take that little tree out with it. And, oh no, we skinned the wrong tree. <laughs> You're up for two. All right, we got the second one down pretty quickly. I was busy changing this fuel line. He's trying to redeem himself here. So he's going super delicate. All right, I've said it before and I feel it bears worth repeating. It's a little squitchy down there. It's a little wet. 98% <laughs> of the time we only take down dead stands. Uh, this one is, is a nice tree. I wish I had caught it sooner, but uh, if the top broke off, this one might be too rotten to run through the sawmill, but I don't know. There's that one Skippy's at and there's this dead one here to the left. And then, uh, yeah, we, I really don't take down live trees for firewood. So this is the top half. We'll buck that up. Yeah. So I'm going to let him make a little progress so I'm not wasting your time. We'll bring you back on the fall. So it got a little tricky because that, the base of that tree is about eight inches wider than the blade. So Skip's made a couple cuts. I think we kind of screwed the pooch on this one. I think it's going to fall to the left. It's, uh, yeah, the back's already broken. Here it comes to the left. That's all right. Come on, buddy. Hey! Coming towards. <laughs> buddy! That's supposed to go that way. Watch for kickback. You're gonna get some summer teeth. This tree is spongy. Watch yourself, buddy. See, the problem is now it fell back on its own cut. We didn't use wedges on this because we rarely do. There it goes, it's fine. Smart ass. Oh uh, yeah, that's rotten. Raton! Yeah, this whole thing's firewood, looks like. That was all that was holding it up. Yeah, that little... Yeah, this thing's junk. I, maybe we'll just burn this. Maybe we'll just burn this one in place. All right. Get the next one. Wasting fuel. It's moving. These are super spongy. All right, get this little guy going. Let's make some firewood. All right, we got all this down. We got one, two, three, four, 
five nine foot logs that look so ouch, solid enough that they should be fine. That whole tree obviously was firewood. I bucked up that pile of schmutz there. Skippy and Co. We're gonna go after the other grove of trees. Warming up a little bit today. Good job, boys. Thanks for coming along. This 029 is a beast. So I've got one, two, three, four pieces for the sawmill. They're all right around 12 feet a piece. I think this one's this one's quite a bit longer, actually. This one's probably 14. Either way, it'll still work on that mill. The rest is firewood. Skippy's fueling up for his tree. Oh, I forgot about this one. Let me finish this one and then I'll go help Skippy and his boy with the other one. All right, we got our firewood all bucked up. 16 or so inch lengths. We've got four good lengths here for the sawmill. Got all the other little guys bucked up. Let's go get the other two trees. I'll show you that right now. Putting the boy through his paces. If you want to hang out with your dad and your uncle, you got to work. That's just the rule. this bucked up these guys here are nice we've got one two three four here they're like 10 12 feet long sawmill we've got half a dozen pieces over there sawmill we've got two trees we're gonna take down well I'll walk you over there in a minute once we get done here I'll walk you over there and show you what we got 